G'day, my name is Shoal, I work for company Micrographics and we can be found on the web at www.ngvx.co.za Right, so the purpose of the video is to uh, show you how to draw a simple little building um, adding walls, doors and windows, uh, a room floor and also a roof. Right, now you will see that uh, I'm going to use two tablet uh, palettes, one on the uh, left and one on the right. Uh, this one is the properties and this is the, the drawing palette. If they're not there you can add them using uh, the palette tool. Right, um, the design palette you'll see uh, consists uh, or has uh, all the tools in. They're just generic. If you want more specific uh, walls you can uh, visit the other uh, uh, tabs. Right, so I'm going to go to the design tab, we're going to go to walls and uh, uh, you'll notice in the properties these uh, various thicknesses uh, that you can set as well as uh, height. Right, um, I'm going to draw uh, from there uh, maybe five meters along and then I'll just go around uh, generically just uh, adding some some walls. Right, I've picked up that uh, edge there just to align it nicely. There we go. Right, um, I'll also go and draw some internal walls, so I'll use that uh, as 110, and uh, I'll specifically start in the corner there. Um, let's undo that, uh, kind of jump to the wrong spot. Mm. Alright, so uh, doing that sort of thing. Um, Alright, you'll notice there in the corner it didn't uh, line up nicely, so I'll just go move this wall from there to there. Uh, it also doesn't uh, uh, um, uh, join nicely so I'll just kind of select all of those right click and use the uh, intelligent cleanup and it'll just require me to select the, the T-junction right uh, there we go so um, that done I can now go and add some doors right again uh, I'm just going to add a, a simple generic door later on we'll swap it out I'll, I'll look at the widths and then uh, add the particular element Right, uh, at this stage I'm just going to add them uh, randomly or generically, uh, maybe a little back door over here. Right, okay, then uh, the, uh, the swings of these doors or the, the, um, the position we can change by uh, going uh, clicking on that and then obviously the uh, little arrows to, to change the direction and the, the swing. Right, um, going to the windows, I'll add the a window here. Um, now windows particularly you'll look at sizes and also the position now if I just place uh, a window over here it'll just kind of want to place um, itself um, uh, at this stage in, in, the, in the middle there um, now that's uh, fairly uh, easy now the reason why I did that uh, setting it in the middle is that the position along the wall is set to uh, uh, offset to s or center or if it sits to unconstrained then um, there's no uh, positioning uh, availability so uh, well you, you can obviously place it and then later on move it but if you want to um, place it in the middle of that wall you go to the window look at the properties and change that to uh, center and, uh, and and then go and place it right so that's quite uh, 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 nice and easy right so I'm happy with that um, Right, so now the internal uh, spaces I want to add. So I'll just go to the uh, uh, space tool. Um, there's a, a manual or generation. So I'll just uh, generate uh, the space over here, here, and here. Right, these spaces do have its own names. So you can change the name there to entrance, uh, 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 and then later on uh, they can be labeled under the annotate tab. Right, at this point uh, I'll just uh, uh, not label them. Right, uh, and uh, now I'm going to add a floor. Right, so the floor is a slab, uh, so I'll click on slab, and uh, again we've got a thickness and where the justification is, is at the top, perhaps I'll, I'll use that. And then uh, um, there's some uh, various other settings. Alright, so I'm just going to use the, um, the, the, the pieces of uh, um, internal corners to uh, kind of draw up the floor. Right, so uh, there we go, that done, uh, the floor is added. 
same I'm going to do with the roof so I'll go to the roof tool and uh, uh, again you've got some overhangs that you can set uh, the slope that you can set etc right so I'm going to just uh, go all the way around uh, similar to what I did with the floor and as I do uh, the the particular roof gets uh, gets added as you can see over there all right um, okay so that uh, uh, done I can go and set uh, you know the um, the style that I'm seeing as well as I can use uh, shift and middle button to rotate it around I can also use the uh, preset uh, southwest isometric or that sort of thing All right so there's a the little tool um, there's the floor um, uh, and roof and a couple of windows and doors All right so obviously that's just the purpose of this video is just to show you very simply how to create this particular uh, simple building. Alright, thank you for watching. See you on the next one.